This is our battle cry. This is our song of war. With our armor on, Lord, we lift you high. Oh, hear our battle cry.
victory because of what you did, Jesus. And let us not love our lives even unto death. Psalm 43, Hope in God, from the King James Version Bible. Judge me, O God, and plead my cause against an ungodly nation. O deliver me from the deceitful and unjust man, for thou art the God of my strength. Why dost thou cast me off? Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? O oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me into thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles. Then will I go unto the altar of God, unto God my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O oh God my God. While art thou cast down, O oh my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Again, from Psalm 43, verses 1 through 5, from the King James Version Bible. I want to take the time today to pray for all the ones that are struggling with the spirit of suicide due to the aftermaths of this COVID virus 19 and due to the many um, situations of so many of you wonderful people everywhere in the world which God has created in his image that are struggling during this COVID virus season and agendas evil agendas and aftermaths of COVID virus 19 uh, that have lost your businesses due to this virus situation due to the tyranny of the evil rulers that oppress us during this virus season um, and have lost your jobs many of you have lost your jobs and you cannot pay your bills and you're struggling with paying your bills and you can't take care of yourselves nor your families or your loved ones or your pets or you, you are also backed up by many bills or a lot of bills and you don't have food and water and clothes and a lot of you are very suicidal because you are isolated due to this virus situation due to the CDC government rules which is very unfair to all of us all over the world and very unjust to all of us over the world. And it has caused so many of you to struggle with suicide tendencies and issues. And some people have committed suicide due to the aftermaths of this COVID virus 19 um, issues of being isolated, unemployed and alone and struggling with finances and just struggling with life and not being able to go outside and un so many people being arrested behind not wearing a mask and being suffocating in these these suffocating masses that's so hard to breathe in and it's so unnecessary to wear and a lot of you do not want to wear masks and then a lot of people we are isolated we can't socialize and interact in a lot of the parks the amusement parks and sports arenas and sports activities and some, a lot of schools and businesses and churches have been closed and these are the places where we used to be able to gather to interact with other people and now that's been stolen and then the masses is blocking the faces of others where we cannot really see the person and it's like walking around with Halloween masks every day 
and when it's not even Halloween. So I want to take the time to pray for all the souls out there everywhere in the world, everywhere in America, just everywhere in the world and every nation in this world that are struggling with suicide and that are contemplating and committing suicide because of the oppression of this virus aftermaths of these evil agendas that the evil tyrant rulers have placed upon us unjustly. And so a lot of you are angry and frustrated because you cannot do what you used to be able to do. And you have been cut off by the enemy through these rulers, evil rulers, tyrant rulers. So because of this stupid virus. So anyway, I was reading Psalm 43 because I know a lot of you are praying to God for the ones that are ch the children of God are crying out in your hearts to God. And I'm going to pray Psalm 43 over all you wonderful souls that are struggling with suicide. And I just want you to know that God is the only hope that you have. Jesus Christ is the only hope that you have. And he's the only one that can help you get through each day during these struggling times of this COVID virus situation and these aftermaths and evil agendas forced upon us of slavery and in tyranny that we're going through all over the world because of this agenda, this evil attack of the enemy. So I just want to take the time to pray for all you precious souls that are struggling with suicide because I have struggled with suicide you know, from teen years into adult years, and I know what it's like to be suicidal. And I have even attempted suicide so many years ago, a very long time ago. So I know what that's like too. And it's not, it wasn't due to a virus, it was due, due to being bullied all the time and abused all my life. So, and then having a broken, split up family that I never really had a real family. So, anyway. A lot of other things and the oppressions of the covert gain stocking program that I'm being persecuted in every day. So, but with the help of the Lord, he has strengthened me despite of the very stubborn situations in my life that I'm going through. The oppressions and the tyrannies that I'm going through and the evil bullies that I have to deal with every day in this covert gain stocking program. So, when you cry out to God and cry out to Jesus when you call on the name of Jesus, you shall be saved. And Jesus is the only hope that can get you through and make a way. Jehovah Yahweh can make a way to provide for you despite of the stubborn situations and the tyranny-like situations that all of you are facing because of this virus situation. So anyway, I'm going to pray. Judge me, O oh God. I pray that you would judge the ones, Father God, out there that are coming against all the souls. That